Hello everyone, I'm Scott Bowman and this is my March Madness bracket. I'm going to break it down for you real slow. We're going to start up at the South bracket with Kentucky. And I think that they're just an elite team, head and shoulders above almost every other team. We'll get to the other teams, I can compete with them later. But they have great freshman center and Anthony Davis, player of the year candidate. And I feel like they, they don't really have much competition in their, in their side of the line of the bracket in the South. Uh, Indiana is going to make it to the Sweet 16 and play Kentucky, in my opinion, because they have a strong, also a strong freshman center in Cody Zeller. And a great all-around team, the only other team, one of two teams to beat Kentucky, actually. Also, I feel Baylor will make it to the Sweet 16 along with Duke. Uh, Baylor, I feel, has a chance for upset, or upset against Duke because of Perry Jones, Quincy Miller, Juice Bellow, they're a great freshman class. And they're just a very good, strong team. And if Duke has one bad shooting night, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, I feel like Kentucky is going to beat Baylor just because of their, uh, their great freshman, their Terrence Jones coming back, giving them some, some leadership, along with Deron Lamb, one of their uh, only seniors. Now we're going to move down to the West with Michigan State at the top, who I feel has a very good chance to move up until at least the Elite Eight with a uh, great leader in Draymond Green and some great role players as well. Also, I think Louisville has a chance for Peyton Siva to make a run. Uh, probably Sweet 16, I don't really know that much about New Mexico enough to uh, put them past Louisville. Uh, I think Murray State is a very good team to watch. They play great as a team. They've beaten up on almost every team in their division, their league. Uh, easily won their league and has a good chance to upset Marquette. But I think Missouri will definitely make it past them because of their just all-around great team. They have Ken English, they have Phil Pressey, Matt Pressey, uh, great center, great, uh, great all-around team, move the ball well, push it up and down the floor. And in my opinion, because of my X Factors, uh, Dixon on uh, Missouri, who will push them past uh, the system player in Michigan State. Now, I think UNC is the best team, best all-around team in, in this uh, March Madness. I think that Temple won a chance to upset Michigan because of their their last days will play against not not top tier uh, competition. And I think Georgetown will make it to uh, to Sweet 16 because they just have a great all-around team as well. And Kansas with uh, Thomas Robinson as a leader. Uh, well, definitely with Bill Self as their, as their head coach as well, great and comp on, uh, March Madness play made to the Elite Eight last year. I think they'll make it past Georgetown. It'll be a tough close game, but I think Thomas Robinson's going to propel his team over from Georgetown. Then I have UNC beating Kansas because I feel Thomas Robinson is the real, the real uh, X Factor on Kansas. And UNC has Tyler Zeller, who I think will cancel out Kansas. And then they have Harrison Barnes, Kendall Marshall, John Henson, and Mitchell Winston. Now going up to the East. Uh, I have Syracuse getting to the Elite Eight, but I could definitely see them getting upset a little earlier. Vanderbilt, a great team. Wisconsin, also a great team with, uh, with Taylor. And I think with uh, Syracuse's great backcourt and Fab Mello definitely leading the front court. Uh, they have a good chance to make it through the game, but I wouldn't be su surprised to see an upset. Also, over here we have Florida State, great team as well, beat Duke and UNC twice, which is not only, I think, four of the teams that say that in the last decade or so. And Ohio State down here is going to, with Jared Sullinger, of course, a well-known team, kind of flew under the radar this year. Well, uh, I think we'll make it past Florida State because of uh, Jared Sullinger. They just won't be able to contain him. And then when it comes down to Syracuse versus Ohio State, I think Jared Solinger is going to push through with his uh, just being his second year, having a little experience under his belt, and with uh, other role players such as Buford helping get there. Now, with my Final Four, I have Kentucky versus Missouri, and I have Ohio State versus UNC. We're going to start over here with UNC. I think, by far, the most complete team in this uh, NCAA tournament. They with the great play, I think Harrison Barnes will definitely step up in the Final Four. 
because Alizel will have a tough time guarding uh, Jared Sullender, so that'll be more of a push. But uh, Harrison Barnes, Kevin Marshall, John Henson, just too much firepower on UNC for them to not make it through. And on this side, Kentucky with their fabulous freshman class, which, uh, which is really impressed so far this season. Uh, John Calipari as a leader, just will push past uh, Missouri, he just doesn't have enough firepower to make it, make it to the um, championship game. And my national champion is UNC. Uh, they do have great talent as well as Kentucky, but I think Kentucky has a little bit more talent. But UNC has great experience, they've been here before, they, they um, all play well as a team, and I feel like everything's coming together if John Henson can get back into the lineup and really uh, play the way he's been playing this season. Uh, Scott Bowles has been the word online, and this is my bracket. I'm Jacob Bogage, and this is my NCAA tournament bracket. Let's start over here in the South. I think a, a, a division, excuse me, a region that's going to be really hotly contested, but I really like Kentucky. A lot of their freshmen, Anthony Davis, a great player, Terrence Jones, by great junior leadership. I like Kentucky to make it all the way to the Final Four. Duke, a solid two seed, is as solid as it can be in, uh, in this tournament. Really no match for Kentucky uh, when we get down to it, the Elite Eight. Kentucky out of the South region. Let's move down here to the West. I love Tom Izzo and Michigan State Spartans, but I love Missouri, as you can see the, the star right here, schools I applied to. Uh, University of Missouri uh, to upset Michigan State. Uh, a, a two over one, not that big of an upset. Uh, a lot of great uh, guards on that Missouri team. Ricardo Ratliff shooting over 50% of the year for Missouri in the paint. Great player, great center. I think you match up with Jerry Mungry and the Spartans. Uh, Missouri in the Final Four from the West. Other teams to watch in the West. Uh, the Murray State Racers. You see them as Murray and Racers on this bracket here. Great team out of the, uh, uh, I believe, CUSA that play well as a team. Uh, you know, a number of guys that aren't just all conferences, Dick Vitale notes, but you know, could certainly go for all Americans. Uh, uh, Cannon, one of them, a great shooter. So definitely watch them to pull some upsets. Uh, and Long Beach State plays really, really well. Physical team in the paint that can really score and get up and down the court. Uh, Abby Isaacs, love Long Beach State over there. Uh, I don't think a match for Michigan State here, but another team to watch. Let's move over to the Midwest, and I'll step on this side. Uh, University of North Carolina Target is not my favorite school, but a great basketball program. Roy Williams is a great job with them. I see them making all the way down here. Just because of Harrison Barnes and if John Henson can get healthy, there's a touch in the paint for you. Uh, University of North Carolina is a great, great team. And then Kansas and Georgetown right here. This is the Sweet 16. Uh, it's going to be an incredible matchup, and I think probably the best game in this tournament. Georgetown, a freshman sensation, auto quarter against Thomas Robinson in Kansas. Should be a great game. Uh, I, I really don't feel like uh, Otto Porter has the physicality to go into the lane and bang around with uh, Thomas Robinson. That's why I have Kansas coming out of here. Like I said, best game in the bracket. And then the University of North Carolina over Kansas uh, just because of the, the team factor of Kendall Marshall, John Henson, Harrison Barnes. That can really get it done for the target. Let's move back up here to the east, our last bracket. Syracuse, another school I applied to. We'll get down here into the Elite Eight. But my sleeper for this entire tournament, the Florida State Seminoles, that start right here. They're a three seed against St. Bonaventure. Then Texas, uh, I've created Texas, the upset over Cincinnati. Um, I'd say they beat Texas, they get Ohio State. Tournaments are about teams that are hot, not necessarily the best teams. But I feel like Ohio State isn't the hottest team right now. And Florida State really is. Uh, you know, they play incredible defense. Bernard James down in the paint, uh, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan, the Warvet. He knows what he's doing, and I think he'll certainly get it done over Jared Sollinger. I think he's the best big man in the tournament, not Sollinger, that's Bernard James. So we get done here, Syracuse and Fab Mallow versus Florida State, Michael Snare, Bernard James, David Stumpies, Brendan Louts. I really like Florida State, they play incredible defense, they're knocking down shots, and they're my team to beat in this tournament. They move down to the Final Four, so let's take a look at the Final Four. Here we go, we have Kentucky versus Missouri, we have North Carolina versus Florida State. Let's start over here. Kentucky just has too much hype for Missouri. Anthony Davis is, is too much for Ricardo Ratliff in Missouri, and I think Terrence Jones matches up better at the four spot than Ken English does for the Tigers. So you have the Kentucky Wildcats in the finals here, and then we'll go Florida State versus North Carolina. 
uh, in a rematch of the ACC championship game. Right now, I just think Florida State's the better team. They're a better team than North Carolina. They're shooting better. They're playing much better defense. So I'll take Florida State over North Carolina in that one. And then we get to the championship game. It's Kentucky versus Florida State. KU in a wash, I predict, right here. They're a much better team. They're deeper. They're more talented. They can go to their bench. John Calipari knows what he's doing. He's been here before. Leonard Hamilton, his third season in Florida State, not, you know, he, his guys don't have the experience to go deep in the tournament and, uh, and, and really take one home. So all the all goes to the University of Kentucky Wildcats, 74 58 in the 2012 National Championship. I'm Jacob Bogage, and this is the Warrior Online. Lunch.